Hello everyone, I uh, hope you're all doing great. Uh, so I'm out in the veg garden again today. I've got an hour or so spare this morning. Uh, so I just want to get something done. So I'm trying a new approach little and often uh, in the mornings at the moment just to try and get some bits done rather than go and do it all in one day like I normally do. Um, anyway, so I'm out here today having a little think of what to do. Uh, I haven't really decided yet, but um, when I do, I'll let you know. <laughs> anyway, hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a great week. Um, so I'll flip the camera around, take off tripod. Uh, I've got a new tripod as well, so I'll show you that. And then I'll, we'll have a little talk and see what, what the plans are for today. Anyway guys, so I'll get back to you in a sec, and we'll make a start. Hi everyone, and welcome back. Uh, so we're in the veg garden again today, as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure what the weather's trying to do at the moment. Uh, it's been snowing slash sleeting on and off uh, most of the morning. And it's hovering around 3 degrees at the moment. Uh, so it's the 7th of January today, 2022. Um, I've got a new tripod. I haven't shown you that yet. Extends up to 72 inches, so just over six foot tall. Um, it's got all the phone attachments and whatnot. Comes in a nice little case. Um, It is a Victif T70. Um, so I'm just out in the veg garden, having a little think what to do today. Uh, haven't got too long, probably got about an hour or so. Um, so what I thought I'm gonna do is all these trees here, um, I kind of taken up this whole bed here because I made this bed last year. Uh, real simple. Just put these bits of wood here and wedged. This is just for veg boarding. Just wedged it in between these stakes. Put a couple on the inside, a couple on the outside. Just wedged it in there. About as simple as it can get. And so. Uh, I've been using that to store my trees, but I thought it's a bit of a waste of space really, because I could be growing stuff in that bed. So I thought I'd move all my trees down onto the grass here, do them in little rows, um, just because this space here is kind of wasted otherwise. So if I put them along there, leave nice gaps in between each couple of rows um, just so I can get through and I can see them all nicely in that so I thought I'd do that so I'm, I'm going to set the camera up in a minute and make a start on that then I thought um, I'll give that a quick dig over and a quick weed and I've still got a whole bin full of compost which I've been making for the past year or two. So I thought I could see what's in there and spread that on that bed and give it a dig in. Uh, the weather's a bit iffy. Uh, I'm going to be in and out of the greenhouse, I try and avoid these showers. Um, it's not snow, it's more like hail mixed with sleet. Um, it's almost snow, but it's not quite cold enough. Anyway guys, so uh, I'll do that on a time lapse anyway. I won't bore you with the whole thing. I'll get that, them lot moved off of there and then we'll go from there. Uh, 
Okay guys, so I've just finished moving that lot over there. Uh, I've just done the big pots for now. And uh, just moved all them from over there down to the grass there. Trying to clear this bed here. Uh, so I've got to move all these little ones down there somewhere. Uh, trying to arrange them neatly, neat as I can. Uh, uh, it's not a very nice day really, so I might have to retreat to the greenhouse in a minute uh, if this sleep carries on. Anyway, so um, we'll crack on, get some more done, see how we go. So, got all them trees down now, got all the little ones down as well. Making a bit of a mud bath along there, but not to worry, try to dry out. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure what they all are, so when they all come to leaf, I'll rearrange them a bit better. But these ones are mostly birch and uh, Japanese maples, conifers, and cuttings from the bay trees. Spruce and boxwood, and some other small red birch seedlings. So now I've got this bed clear here. Uh, all I need to do is give that dig over and a quick weed, and then add some compost to it. Give that a mix in, and now I've got uh, another whole growing area free. So it's about two meters by two meters, so it should give me quite a bit more growing space. And I've got a bit of space at the back of there, and um, just where I had to move the greenhouse forward because it wasn't level enough back there. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Probably just use that for storage. Well, I might even put my cold frame there, dig that out again, it's full of plant pots and stuff at the moment. So, I think it looks quite nice, quite good. Um, I won't be keeping all the trees, I'll try and sell some of them and give some away. Anyway, I'm going to start on something else, back to you in a minute. <coughs> okay guys, so I'm just going to give us a real quick dig over and a little bit of a weed. Uh, so I've got a bucket there for all the weeds I've put out. So I'll get the biggest ones out first. And then give it a dig over, put out any other little ones I can see. Just a real quick dig. And then I'll be done for the day I think. Okay guys, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and so I've just dug this over just real quick. Uh, I'll come back through another day once it's a bit drier, put out any weeds I find, and dig in some compost from the compost bin. But I just wanted to get a couple of hours done this morning, uh, I've got all them pots moved down there, got this bed cleared, dug over a bit, um, that'll do me for today. So. Uh, next time I'll be planting out some onions, some garlic, and maybe even sowing some seeds. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, I hope you subscribe to me. And feel free to leave a comment and like the video. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. See ya.